Hey everybody, Mason here at Black Bend Boats. We're here today, we got a brand new 332 center console, just loaded on the trailer, getting ready to go water test the new Merc Racing 450Rs. This boat's Carolina Blue, which is a new color available for all Black Bend models, um, available for order now. Before we take it to the water and do some performance tests, we want to jump up and show you guys some features and benefits inside. All right, starting out here on the bow of this 332 center console, start up front with the anchor locker. You've got a large anchor locker, plenty of room to store as much rope and chain as you need to to anchor your favorite fishing spot. You've got a standard windlass, you've got a freshwater wash down, you've got storage for a second anchor in here as well, so if you need a stern anchor to anchor up on the sandbar at the end of the day. You've also got controls up here and at the helm for your windlass, so no matter where you're trying to anchor up, it's convenient at all times. We've got standard pull-up cleats on the boat. We've got rod holder, cup holder combos forward. And moving forward, you've got this large bow seating area. And shown here is the new, new styling for 2021, which will be available on all the black fins. You've got large storage areas underneath all the seating. Everything drains overboard, so you don't have to worry about filling your bilge up with water. Um, every lid is gasketed, so it keeps everything dry. You've got a large in-floor storage area here as well. Again, drains overboard. Um, plenty of room can be used in the fish box or just storage. This bow also can, if you're into entertaining, We've got it where it converts to a bow table very quickly. All of this stores in the console, so it's out of sight, out of mind when you're not using it, but when you're ready to everybody sit around a table and eat some lunch, it's quickly convertible. Our bow also converts from open seating. You've got these bolsters that you can lean against the wall, which remove, slide in place, now you've converted it to forward facing seating. We've got this large sun pad on the front of the console here as well for seating at the bow. It's got armrests, flip down cup holders, and another armrest. And underneath all of this is a large storage area. We've got storage for two five gallon buckets. We've got uh, enough room to store five dive tanks. It all, again, all drains overboard, a little chuck space there in the corner. Again, gasketed, sealed, so if you want to use it as dry storage, you can. Okay, we got on either side of the console here, we have lockable rod storage. So at the end of the day, when you're done cleaning your rods and reels off, if you don't feel like carrying them up on the dock, you can stick them in here, close the door, lock it, and they'll be safe and secure until the next time you're ready to use it. Throughout the boat, we've got 316 stainless steel handrails all the way around the boat as much as possible just to allow for a secure movement around the boat. Pull up cleats. And then one of the coolest features on the black fins is this, is this patent pending head door. Push these latches down, door pantographs out of the way, and we've got a huge opening here to where it allows easy access to the console when you need to. Down inside here, you've got your table storage, which we showed you earlier, you've got a standard porcelain head. Up top here, we've got access to behind the electronic, very quick, easy access. Moving down, you've got the breakers, 12 volt, 12 volt breaker panels, um, key switches, battery switches, so you get easy access without ever having to step foot in the console. Moving down even lower, you've got quick access to your fresh water pumps, your raw water pumps your battery chargers, anything, and it keeps it up inside the console, it keeps everything nice and dry rather than being mounted in the bilge. Front side of the console here, this is storage for our optional dive ladder, which we'll show you later. Um, you've got storage for five rods and reel, five, six and a half foot rods and reels in here. So again, this is all lockable, so you can put them in here, lock it up at the end of the day, walk away from the boat, and not worry about your stuff going missing. So we're here at the helm now, and you can see that we've got plenty of room for electronics. This, this boat has two 8616 Garmin's in it. We've got Mercury joystick, we've got Vessel View, we've got a Fusion Apollo head unit, which is standard on the boat. Um, you've got your trim tab controls, your push to start buttons. Um, our switches are off to the side. They're not tucked behind a steering wheel, very easy to see. They're also backlit, so at night, when your nav lights are on, you're automatically backlighting your switches. 
We're surrounded by a full safety tempered glass windshield here, um, which protects you from the elements on the nasty days, cold. But we've also got a windshield vent that will open up and give you that cool air when you're, when you're needing it most on a hot day. At the helm here, one of the most important features is keeping the captain and his crew comfortable. So we've got a custom made seat by LeBrock. It's a triple wide, three individual flip down bolsters, center armrest, flip down armrests on the side. Um, you know, you can sit in it, it's electrically adjustable. So if you feel like you need to get a little bit closer to the helm or just want some more support to lean against, quick and easy. So we've got a flip down helm step here. Fold it down, get up, sit about six inches higher, be able to, you know, on those days you're high speed trolling, being able to look over the bow or just coming in a river at a slow planing speed, it it's a, makes a world of difference. So now we're back here in the cockpit of the 332 center console and showing you the bait prep, bait prep rigging station area. You got a standard 20 gallon live well, you got standard 45 quart yetis, you got two of them. And they're on slides, so they easily pull in and out. Um, when you're done, you push them up with your foot, lock them, done. Uh, center, center trash can. So you know, there's always that's always a problem on a boat is where you put the trash. So we gave you a slide out trash can. You've got two sinks underneath this countertop. Um, we've got a fresh and raw water wash down here. You've got holders for your leader line. So when you're rigging bait on the way out, you can put your line in there spool it out and not have to worry about it falling on the deck and going everywhere. Um, knife and plier holders. We've got little holes here for hanging your, your pre-rigged base there all the way around the center, all the way around the prep station. Um, you've got a cutting board, you know, it slides so you can move it in and out, get it out of the walkway, slide it out there. Um, and then it easily stores right here beside the console, beside the cooler. Slide it in place, you've got a couple locks here, lock it, and you're done. We've also got six welded on rod holders on here on the aft hardtop support. And you'll notice this knurled aluminum here. That's so when you're gaining access to the top of the hardtop here through our hatch, you've got a place to step that you're not gonna slip off and fall. So beside the bait prep station, we've got our standard side door, which is color matched to the hull side, all finished, no trim anything like that. We've got a, a small stainless trim at the bottom, but that receives our removable dive ladder, which is an option on this boat. When, it, when you're not using it, it stores inside the console, keeps it out of the way. Um, when you're ready to use it, quick and easy access. Uh, moving back, you can see we've got our tow rails, our 12 volt outlets for downriggers, electric reels. We've got a fresh and raw water wash down. We've got standard rod holder cup holder combos. We've got our 35 gallon live well. And if you notice, all of our live wells have clear faces on the front. So it allows you to monitor your bait quick and easily, look back, make sure water's flowing. Um, right next to that, we've got our pull out seat with a flip up backrest. It gives you a really deep seat, really tall backrest, makes it very comfortable for anybody riding back here. Fold that down, get it out of the way. Now you're ready for fishing again. In floor, we've got We've got a port and starboard in floor macerated insulated fish box. Pop the latches, pull it open, um, quick and easy access. Again, gasketed lids everywhere on black fins. Push the lid down, close them. All you have to do is step on them. So when you're trying to get that catch in there, it's real quick and easy. Um, again, that works with the side door open. No need to close it. So down here is all of our mechanical access for live well pumps, bilge pumps. Everything's real quick and easy. We use black hose throughout black fins, except for waste hoses, you know, just to keep that mildewy look, keep you from having the hoses turn black on you. Um, and in this boat, we've got a standard sea chest built into the system here. So that keeps your bait alive, keeps everything, everything pressurized, keeps everything flowing. Um, no need to worry about your live oil pump sucking air. Everything is, shut, is, is able to be shut off by stainless steel valves in the bilge. Um, we've got sea strainers coming in that, that filter the water coming into the box. You don't have to worry about filling it full of grass on those days you're trying to fish a weed line. And again, everything is just quick and easy access. Try to make it as easily accessible as possible. So on the transom of the black fin, we've got a standard swim ladder. So you know, quick and easy access. Uh, you open this up, quick access to maintain your ladder, clean it, wash it off, hose it down when you're done. You've got pull-up cleats in the corner here, stainless rails. 
And then, of course, we move over here. Like we talked about earlier, this is the first boat with four Mercury Racing 450s on it. Uh, we've matched the accent colors in Carolina Blue as well. Uh, this particular boat has joystick piloting on it. Uh, if you notice here on the black pin, fill in the motor well, so it gives you a little bit more walk around room without having a hole to fall into. Uh, keeps your platform nice and open. And that wraps up our walkthrough of this 332 center console, uh, showing you some of the features and benefits. We gotta get this thing out to the lake and do some performance testing, get our props dialed in, but be sure to look for upcoming walkthroughs and reviews, and as always, check all of our models out at blackfinboats.com.